Brad Galley with Jay Bill is one of the best minds in college basketball. And Jay, what a <laughs> what a great time here at, at Madison Square Garden. You get to call these games. Marquette doing some magnificent things here. Buzz Williams has set kind of a precedent here. A 37-year-old guy stepping in an assistant. Why do you think he's been able to do so much with such maybe little talent that people didn't expect to see? Well, he's got talent now. They're good players. I, I think what he's done is uh, he's got a system and the players believe in it and they work every day in practice they keep it simple and they've got a, a belief set and he's what, what he's been selling the players have been buying and uh, they, they may be small but the, those guys are tough and you know their paint touches and all the different things that they do with ball screens and the way they guard uh, they, they've done a really really good job and especially I think what's been really impressive is you know they found ways to win uh, in really close games and they've had a number of overtime games and any time you know you have that many you have that many close games you know you look at them as opportunities to win but they're also opportunities to lose and Marquette hadn't, hadn't lost very many of those that, that's a sign of, a, of a, a tough team a leader in that and you know, maybe the king of toughness Al Marquette is Lazar Hayward he's a player that you've called maybe one of the most underrated player of the year candidates this year his versatility is something that I think is so underrated in this league and in the Big East is that what you think makes him so valuable He's just a really good player, and uh, I, I think he's one of those guys that doesn't have a position. He can just play, and he can play just about anywhere on the floor, uh, and he creates an awful lot of mismatches. Uh, I think the one thing that, that's really, you know, Lazar's been a good player for a long time. The issue was he's had other guys that took spotlight away, the spotlight away from him, where he blended in and did what was necessary, even though he put up really good numbers. Uh, there was always, you know, you talk about Jarrell McNeil first or Wes Matthews first uh, or Dominic James first. Uh, now he's first, and uh, and I, I was honestly really surprised he wasn't first team All Big East. I thought he should have been, uh, but you know when you've got so many players in the league, uh, it's easy for guys to get. It wasn't like he was overlooked by that much, but you, sometimes you get overlooked. A couple of his teammates there, Darius Johnson, out of and Jimmy Butler. You've also spoken about saying how they've really risen to the occasion this season and helped Lazar out. Transition for them is maybe a little bit tougher for most players because they had to come in in this role where they were bench players or not even in the league, and now they've stepped up. Why do you think it's been so easy for them? You know, I don't. Th I don't think that's so unusual. I mean, you yeah. have guys that that serve as uh, as understudies at times. You know, it's not. It's not. Not every player is going to come in and start as a freshman and, and go through this seamless college career. A lot of times, guys will, will play a role and then mature into uh, load carriers. And one of the things that, that happens, I think that's one of the, the reasons that you know you want to have a program instead of just teams. Is when you've got a program, the older players teach the younger ones. So those guys got to learn last year, and now they're stepping forward, having learned and practice every day and how to conduct themselves, how winners practice, how winners work. Uh, how winners take care of themselves off the court and how uh, teammates put their their other teammates first. Great teammates put their other teammates first. And I think Marquette's done a really good job of that. So, you know, I, I think the rest of us can act like we're surprised. I, I don't think the, the players in the Marquette locker room are surprised. And, that, you know, that's another sign of a, of a mentally tough team. Finally for you, Marquette, I think pessimistic fans would say the size disadvantage that they have is a disadvantage, but you know, pundits that watch the game, yourself included, I'm sure you can see the speed is often a mismatch in their favor. Going out of the Big East once they step out and jump into the NCAA tournament, do you think in, a, in the end that that can actually help them? No, <laughs> um, I think they can, they can cover it up. Uh, I think you'd rather be bigger, uh, you know, anytime size is important in basketball. Uh, you can cover it up and make up for it with great speed. And I think the one thing that I love watching about Marquette is their ball movement is great. You know, ball movement, player movement is, is spectacular. But, uh, you know, the size thing is an issue. Uh, I think if you ask Buzz, he'd rather have some bigger players. Uh, but they're winning with what they've got, and they're doing a heck of a job with it. All right, Jay Bellis, appreciate you stopping. Thank you. Thank no, you very pleasure. much. Great Reporting from Madison Square Garden here, Brad Galley, MUTV Sports.